Alright guys, so today is the day. Today is the day we are putting coilovers in my Beamer 135i. Uh, i got the brakes on, got the shocks all laid out here, ready to go. Um, we're going to start putting them in right now. Uh, first I've got to set up the rear ones a little bit and put our uh, adjustable knobs on. But other than that, we'll get right into it. Hope you guys like this video and uh, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks. What's up guys? So, today, more goodies arrived. Ooh, another box. Another box of tricks for the Beamer. Get this bad boy unboxed. Ah, door rubber for a customer's car. BMW, I think it's an F30 from memory. These little goodies. Check that out. So some M front lower control arms. 10 mil longer than standard, so I give it a bit more stability. And uh, hopefully, hopefully make it handle a bit better. Two of them, left and right. So, I'll uh, get them unboxed and probably put them in after the coilovers. Might be a different video, but let's see how we go. Alright guys, so let's get right into it. We're going to clean up these threads. Now on the top of the shocks here. Just to get the oil off so we can lock tight them. And put our upper mount on. Our upper mount that goes through onto our turner upper mount, our upper spherical ball, and this screws onto our shock. So just giving the threads a bit of a clean up so the Loctite will bite. But also as we're going on, we've got to put our adjustable knobs on. Just 243 Loctite. Good amount, that's probably a bit too much. As it goes on, I'm going to slide our knob in. I've actually gone a little bit too far. And drop the knob. Let's get a little Allen key. Do him up. We'll just adjust our shock. We'll go all the way down. And we'll get a measure as well. So that's down. Just crack it off. And just before we go in, we're going to give it a measure and check our heights, make sure they're the same. They should be. And we do it all again on the next one.
Alright guys, so same thing for the front. Put our little knob on. Actually have to undo that little Allen key. Slide him on, do him up. Just fixed up my Allen key, make it a bit shorter. That's the right hand one done. Did the same on the left hand side. Righto, so now it's time to start putting them in. Pretty good looking pieces. Should be good. Just got to spread this apart a little bit to get it to slide down on the shaft of the shop. So generally a screwdriver will do the job. It's not the best, best option, but we'll do the job. Just go down in between, give it a little tap. Same thing again. Just give it a little tap, spread it apart. Should give us some room. Just run the bolt to the back in case you've forgotten. Um, just helps that if it falls out, if the nut falls off, it's still going to stay there. It's just a sort of personal preference of mine. But other than that, that's pretty well it. We're just going to put our sh sway bar mount on up here and start piecing it back together. Nothing special, I'm just doing up the top bolts. We do it all again on this side. As you can see, this side's a bit earlier. This was the uh, leaky side on the BCs.
I'm gonna set this at about, mm, let's go 30 mil, 40, 40 mil in between this bit and this bit. All right, so I've lied. I'm gonna go 25 mil. Making sure your rubber ring is on top just to help for noise. And your shock is ready to go in as well. So we'll do it all at once, hopefully. camera and the people at home throw the jack up under here up under the arm So we'll jump up top, and put our little washers on. That's the top done up. Now we're just gonna get this bottom done up. Just put the jack in the wrong spot.
All right guys, so first drop on the decoy levers. Haven't rolled it yet, but that's where we're at. So we will give it a roll and then a camber the front because I didn't before I put them in. So camber the front or we'll roll the forward, roll the back, set the height and then tighten everything up and we can go for a drive. Well, here she is guys. Very dirty, but looking good. Much better on the silvers. As you can see, it is filthy. So give her a bath, make it look pretty. Do a proper bit of a shoot. Thanks for watching guys. Uh, next video I'll show you a test drive and let you know what I think of all my little mods I've done and how it handles. Look after yourself guys. See you in the next one.